So I'm recording and I'm still waiting for the guest, the professor. I might talk about Hunt Neiman. Doing pretty well. And they say you can't cheat when yeah, you can't cheat when you've got um I look like I've gone all black. What? It's like I haven't washed lately. My ears keep disappearing. Maybe it's the lighting. Hope you can hear me. Ta-da. Hello, can you hear me? No, no, I can't hear you at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, loud right. and clear. How are you? Good. You're good. looking well. Um, and I'm, yes, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. What about yourself? I'm good, yes. You haven't succumbed to COVID? No, not good. officially, not to my knowledge. But my mum had COVID and uh, she had COVID and she, um, what happened? She said, didn't feel anything. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. <laughs> so maybe I've had COVID. Yeah, you know, maybe I've actually had COVID. So I'm trying Is to she know, okay see. now? Yeah, she had it on Christmas Day, just before oh, Christmas. Lord. Yeah. Wow. 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 And so, yeah, so you, you could have had it and who knows? <laughs> That's right. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, beautiful Dunedin day. We could have met at the beach. Could have. Yeah. No, I, that's why I was actually thinking, I don't want to feel any colder than I am. So I was going to choose my background appropriately. But now the I like your background beach. very much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. But it just I lose my ears here and there. And I, it looks <laughs> like it looks like I'm like dirty on the side of the face. But I lose <laughs> see if I move around, I lose my ear. <laughs> it's a fantastic magic trick. What happened there? Are you there still? Yes, I'm. I'm still here. Yep, yep. Oh my! Screen got in the way. I couldn't see you, or me. How's ah. <laughs> <I> it? <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> um, so a few subjects we can talk about because we haven't spoken about. Um, we haven't had any any sort of meetings since last year. Uh, but no. a few subjects no. I thought of. Happy New Year uh, to you. <laughs> you, you too. We've said that already, though. But yeah, I think for, we the have, yeah. for the camera, we'll say happy 2024. Um, yep. So we had one last year, 2023. We had a New Year's uh, New Year meeting, and we had a, a chat, a chit chat. Um, I want to um, ask you. Like, I do want to get some insight on, I've been using music in my shorts and I'd like to, uh, I've been, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed the range of music you've had actually, David, you've had uh, some jazz, some classical, some old time stuff. It's been a nice mixture. Yeah. I try to, I try to, um, just not grab some music and throw it on. Um, even though I've got some favorites, but. I've I've noticed the um, the two violinists um, they're really a lot of fun to watch. Oh, they're uh, brilliant! Two set violin, they they two set violin, yeah, phenomenal, yeah, yeah, uh, fantastic. Uh, mm. But I've enjoyed watching them, and I often think of you when I've been watching them, and yeah. that's the stuff, and just the sort of things that they they get into and the, they, they're a bit mischievous too I think oh yeah they, yeah. they like to sort of like um but um they keep going on about how bad the flight of the bumblebee is you know from Shostakovich is it is it Shostakovich yeah, uh, Prokofiev yeah yeah oh okay yeah yeah and they keep telling they keep telling everyone off for using the Oh no, here we go. Oh no, not this again. Oh, <laughs> this sort of stuff. So that's quite. So they might have been um, 
yeah, they might have been psychosomatically for me or subconsciously for me, someone that I started watching and not just plonking some music on randomly without some thought about it like we do if you've got a, a channel of any sort, uh, not to just plonk a thumbnail out there and, and give it no time all day. And including the heading and, and descriptions and things like that. I'm still learning those things. But um, what do you... So I want to uh, get from you later, probably, a list of things that you think are just great build-ups for uh, music and chess and vice yeah. versa when, when one's position collapses and it's sort of like... <laughs> it's a, those sorts of musical numbers I'd quite like to to um, gain for my repertoire for that sort yeah. of thing. Um, but I, I, I was just wondering, have you seen last year um, the Hunts Neiman, Grandmaster Hunts Neiman interview with Piers Morgan and also that of um, his lawyer being present? Have you seen that? For, have you seen that? No, no, I've missed that one. No, I have not seen it. <laughs> that sounds watch. quite intriguing. He had his lawyer with him as well. Yeah, and that's the first question that mm. um, Piers Morgan says, is he says, mm. why have you got your lawyer here? <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I haven't got, I should have my lawyer or you should have your lawyer, definitely. You should definitely have your lawyer present. But he's been doing quite well, uh, and he played pretty well in the the Tuesday um, titled arena the other day on is it chess.com or Lee Chess? He played. Yep. He performed like he got first and one, and, and Magnus was not in the other one that he got first. He right. beat Hikaru Nakamura. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and they said there's no chance of him cheating. I'm not saying that he cheated, but there's no, no chance no. of him cheating if you've got no time to play your moves. Well, I've seen contrary to that years and years ago. Uh, not years and years ago, but sort of a wee while ago. But um, have you seen his... Um, yeah, I, his... I'm interested in that because um, is it Fabiano... Fabioso? Fabiano Caruana. He... There's little, he has some podcast, C Squared, and I don't follow it, but YouTube gives you little shorts from it, you know, five minutes. And he was saying that he thinks in Title Tuesday, just about everybody, not, not quite everybody, but many, many people cheat. And he says it's just a matter of the computer giving you one move. You don't, you know, you don't wait for every move to see what Stockfish suggests, but just somewhere one move and and so when you see that Hans Neiman is getting 98 percent accuracy or something you can't help but wondering does he get one little hint somewhere from the computer you know um, I don't know I, I'm not suggesting for a moment he does but but Caruana doesn't suggest Neiman he just suggests that that you know he's he himself plays entitled Tuesday and he he's often he said that when when you get to round 10 out of 11 or 12 i don't know how many there are he said that then if you're if you've got eight or nine points and you're in the running to maybe get some prize money then you might be tempted to just ha have stop this running and just at some stage wait a couple of seconds and get the stop fish move at a crucial position and he said so it's just maybe one hint and he said what do you do about that and i don't know if they came up with an answer or not but apparently they're talking about more players in that tuesday arena having to have their cameras on and you know some of the things but also also caruana and hikaru nakamura and others have been saying that that this is a real at the moment chess is under sort of an existential threat meaning that the whole existence 
there's so much cheating probably going on online. And I mean, you have experienced it. I know you have played people and you have been pretty suspicious that they have cheated. And some of the people you have played have later been banned or their account closed. So it happens, it happens. And you, you wonder why. I mean, why go and play a game? It's like, why cheat at Monopoly when you're playing a game at Christmas? But oh, people do. Okay. It's okay people to do. cheat Christmas with Monopoly, definitely. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's definite, there's definite, um, you know, we're talking family. When you're playing Monopoly in the family, there's the sibling rivalry, so that takes yes. over any sort of like, any yes. sort of like, yes. virtue. Or yeah, any yeah. sort of um, morals, they all they all go out the window, especially when you have to go to the toilet or something like that. The, hmm. Then there's always five hundred dollars being taken out of the kitty somewhere, or you get back and you find. I thought I had, I thought I actually had a hotel on Mayfair in Park Lane, but now yeah. that just happens. what's happened. <laughs> Yep, and, that's and exactly like, how I remember Christmas. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, and and a lot of players have come to the to the floor or to the floor. We'll say the floor have come to the floor in regards to um, cheating. Even Vladimir Kremnik, uh, yeah, he's yeah. And so, what it actually um, seems to. Um, combust is this phobia this thought that my opponent's cheating and as i say i said in a run short or something i or in a long short video or whatever it's called last mm -hmm. year i said every time i'm playing a new player on on the site whatever i play on mm -hmm. i'm always suspicious that they're cheating uh, wow. especially yeah. but there are real players that come and join on that day or i might just be playing real rubbishy you know so mm -hmm. i i find that very you know like it's sort of magnus has actually uh had an interview mm -hmm. where he was asked about cheating and he just spoke generally about it but he's speaking about a fantasy chess game coming on to it's more involved it's involved with the audience a lot and all that sort of stuff it's got audience participation and all that so wow. um what, what do you what have you noticed it, so he had an interview and it's a 15 minute interview hmm. and uh I think it's a Norwegian um, lady presenter who's um, asking him some questions, but I'm sure that he 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 sort of got to uh, say what questions I'm not going to answer, you know. So he probably yeah. Um, yeah. got an insight at least of what the yeah. questions were going to be asked. Because I don't even if you ask me that, uh, what mm. questions are you going to ask or? Uh, Peter, yeah. Professor Peter, what questions yeah. are you going to ask me? Um, mm. We haven't done that. We, I'll, oh. I'll just, mm. What are we going to do? But I'm going to do this for the Chess Channel. What's going on on the Chess Channel? Uh, mm. And earlier I had to tell you that it's been recorded, <laughs> you know. Mm. So, But I'll clip it with this great, fantastic... I've played no chess games since Friday, and it's now Friday, oh, Saturday. And it's now Friday. I've not played one wow. single game of chess. Not single wow. one. But I've been so keen on this new program I've got. Uh, mm. I just want to sing its praises. Um, what is it yes. called? Um, but it's... Hold on. It's called Cat Cut. Cat Cut. Cat, cut. cat one word. So cap, like the cap of a, you know, mm -hmm. toothpaste cap or cut. Yep. Yes. It's, oh. just, uh, it's just awesome. It's just like engrossing. Wow. It's just fun. It's yeah. just, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. it's almost magic as well. You know, like I can get an mm. image 
and I can get rid of all the image behind me or you, wow. and I can change yeah. and all those sorts of things. It's just great. Oh, you, yeah. I, so I'm looking forward to a few creative videos, David. Just, just um, you know, doing some of those interesting things in the video. Yeah, yeah. So I should be oh, watching for your yeah. new releases, <laughs> and uh, I'll be looking for the technology. <laughs> but this is, you know, it's quite scary um, how, you know. AI and things is, 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 is coming in. So pe people are taking, someone showed me on their phone, they took a photo on their Samsung and they just t did some editing on the phone and they removed a person's hands. So the hands just disappeared and it made it look as if the person had two stumps. And he did this just, just on his phone with some editing software on his phone. And there was there was my mate. He had just been photographed, a workmate. And within five minutes, we had a photo of him sitting there, and it looked like he had no hands. And it was like, wow, you know, uh, it's it's quite scary. It's quite scary. It's so, quite easy to get rid of my face too, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the one issue in chess, and I, and I think it might have been resolved by FIDE because FIDE have just apparently changed the rules for how you will get into the candidates, the, the tournament for eight people to find the challenger for the world champion. Now, I thought it was disgraceful that at the very end of last year, um, the Indian players quickly had a tournament arranged for them to see if they could get Gukesh into the candidates and then Ali Reza Faruja, he had a tournament arranged, um, and he he was, had five out of he had five out of five, and he needed to get six out of six, but he only got a draw. And then that tournament fee day ended up saying none of the points counted. So then he arranged another tournament, and with a lot of old grandmasters. And they know full well that the only reason for this tournament is to give Ali Reza Faruja a chance to get to the candidates. So what does that tell them? Oh, we shouldn't really try and beat him. He needs to beat us, and we're all French. We need to get this French player into the candidates. So if we all lose and he wins, he will get enough points to beat Wesley So and Anish Giri and get the eighth spot. And that duly happened. Now, that should have been absolutely not allowed. You know, fancy arranging a tournament just to get... If, if in New Zealand we thought we could get Matthew McNabb into the candidates by playing all these people, and if he got 100% victories, he would get in, and then we'd all play him and we'd all lose... Um, you well, know, I just was, thought it was outrageous. That would happen actually. anyway. That would happen yeah. anyway. I mean, if we don't play with you, McNabb, we're going to lose anyway. So, yeah. so <laughs> he's not the right person to use in that example. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I didn't think that was terrible. But I, I mean, I... It'd be better if you use me in that example because everyone <laughs> will say, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I, I see <laughs> so, that... I see that FIDE are, 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 are saying that for the next candidates, um, you won't be able to do that. But I, I thought it was outrageous that this was somehow a loophole and it was allowed. And if I were Wesley So and Anish Giri, I'd be bloody pissed off with Alareza Faruja and I wouldn't be... Uh, and I guess they don't speak much anyway, perhaps. Perhaps they're not very matey. But I thought that was a very unethical and immoral thing so that that got me angry um you know i just thought well actually that's manipulation and it's transparently obvious that a tournament arranged very late at late notice with a bunch of old grandmasters playing Faruja in france i mean you know that's that's not legit there are, rant fun, over though. david sorry rant over <laughs> uh, but it could have backfired, couldn't it? 
Yes, it could have. Oh, definitely. And the tournament before did. That was the other thing. He had he had a tournament only a few weeks it earlier, sucks. and afterwards FIDE cancelled all the points from it. But he had already crapped out by having one draw meant he didn't get enough rating points to overtake Geary. So he tried again, arranged another yeah. tournament. I mean, really, that's outrageous. So I, that, was my, that was my rant. I do feel that was terrible. Yeah. He's an opportunist. That's what it sounds like to me. Just yeah. like when opportunity is there, it's like... Um, yeah, the laws yeah. allowed it. The laws allowed it, so I guess that's his argument. And fair yeah, enough, that's... it's not against the law, but gee whiz. Yeah. So, anyway, why haven't you played chess for six days? Just because you've been enjoying this new program? Oh, no. No, I've, mm. I've, I've got back to the Eden. The weather's mm. not very really good in Christchurch either, but it's pretty, like, it looks it's pretty terrible light. terrible here, isn't it? <laughs> Up the hill there, but down here it's dark like that, you know. Big yeah. lightning strikes and thunderbolts and lightning bolts and ching ching ching, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. But up the hill there, it must be quite good. You know, I don't know why, but um, oh, it's pretty. It's pretty wet here. It's pouring of rain. Yeah, yeah, same here. I, I'm in Dunedin, so oh, I, yeah. I came. To, I came to Dunedin on Tuesday, I think. Hmm. I got to come here Tuesday. Or Wednesday. Wednesday. Hmm. So anyway, that's what I've done. So yeah. um, hmm. we've spoken about music. Now, you you might like to say what's happened for you, but you might not like to. I, I haven't played any chess for ages, um, but I've, um, I've had a very quiet new year. My partner's not been very well, and we're... We're just waiting for a few appointments, which are uh, a couple of weeks away. Um, but I've I've just been um, enjoying awesome, uh, actually writing some music. I've been writing some music for a school orchestra, actually, in Auckland. So I've been writing some music and I've been um, I've been going for swims quite early in the morning, about quarter past eight, three or four times a week. I go for a swim. Um, it's a new you thing. I don't know why. But I've just decided someone gave me a, a season pass, a six-month pass, and oh. uh, for a Christmas present, and that was nice of them. And so I've I've been slowly doing a few laps up and down at Moana Pool, uh, doing a bit of swimming, um, and I've enjoyed that. And you know, we had a we had a um, we were fostering an aviation security dog for the first year of its life and now it's gone off to be trained so um yeah. i no longer have a dog to walk no dog walks so i'm swimming instead so yeah that's me a bit of swimming bit of writing music housework and cooking mowing lawns cutting hedges there's always a bloody job to do <laughs> and i've been teaching a bit of summer school at the university a uh, summer school music paper so that i've kept my hand in you know, before the students all come hear. rushing back. <laughs> yeah, that's good so to that's hear. Been, that's been me, yeah. And I was thinking for your chess music, I'll point you to some of the um, uh, some of the fun cartoon music. The music from some of the the old classic Disney cartoons, you know, they're full of slap bang wallet. You know, <laughs> could be perfect for a a mistake and a, a blunder in a chess game or something. You know? <laughs> what did you What did you think about um, What did you think about uh, the two set violins when they're speaking about? Well, one they speak about recorders. Uh, yeah, they yeah. they put down recorders, and then they also yeah. speak. About, they also speak about. Um, uh, oh, what is it? They well. It's fantastic, but they, they, um, I think in trouble for that. Oh, I forgot what it was now. Uh, that, they, one of their best ones. They, they oh, get Star a Wars. world Star famous. Wars. Oh, Star Wars! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's the music hilarious. For Star Wars and Jaws and 
Even then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, they're brilliant. Uh, one of my favorites, Amazing. they get this world class soloist, Hilary Harm. She's one of the, the great violin soloists. Yeah, yeah. And they make, she comes on their show. She's a good sport, you know. And, and they, make, they, they make her play with a hula hoop. And she's, yeah, she's, got, yeah. to, she's got to and keep she her does it. going. And she does it. Yeah. She Bloody does brilliant. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's it's like yeah, she gets in there and um performs and then she has to play it with her her um see I play the violin like with my left hand. Mm. Which is normal I think. And mm. but then she has to do it with her right hand. She has to hold the violin yes. her, but they're really good. I I just think they're fantastic. Like they they're just brilliant. Uh, their presentation, the way yes. that, that they work on their, um, you know, and they use animation and that sort of stuff. But I I just do chess, <laughs> you yeah, know. That... So I've and they keep... must have been they must have been on YouTube now, what four or five years? Do you think? Oh wow. Cool. They've built up their following over a long time. Good on them. Okay. You know, they've just pers persevered. So there's a good moral in that, David. Keep going. <laughs> there's a lot of people that are not, you know, they're leaving YouTube or they're slowing down. I don't know if you've seen that, but on YouTube, there's been big people um, leaving YouTube what do you think that's associated with, if you do think anything? Yeah, I, I saw you had a video on that, and I didn't watch it right through. I watched a little of it. Um, I cut I it off. Time. Yeah, and and I'm not sure. Is it is it becoming harder for them to get advertisements and make any money out of it? Maybe there's just so much out there. Or... Some of them are their own worst enemies. They've they've created a schedule. You know, every Tuesday I'm uploading a new, and they've they've set the standard so high they have to, you know, do fancy editing and make yeah. it look as like a television studio, and they're doing it all themselves, and they're they're just getting a bit burnt out. Maybe I don't know. I think so. Maybe yeah. I don't know. Um, what do you think's going on? Well, I can't understand why one person says to copy and another one says top one and another one yeah. says don't copy. One says tick that box, one says don't tick that box, you know. Yeah. So I I'm I'm I've I've um, made a decision for myself because I've got some mm. friends in the country that say, I'll do this or do it this way or do that. I've just started to I'm starting to say to myself, I'm going to think of Bert Munro, okay? And mm -hmm. I'm going to do things the way that Bert would do them, you know? Someone comes around and says, oh, that's not the way you make a cup of tea, Bert, you know? And I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to continually, I'm going to try to endeavour to continue to, because I think I'm here for the long haul, you know? I, I might yeah, die yeah, soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people were saying to me that you should ask for this on and that sort of thing, but this is not what I started for. No. Well, I, I can I can believe that it gets a bit a bit much because even with this um, this program I've just told you about, uh, that's that's behind the scenes. People don't get to see what goes on behind the scenes and that those sorts of things can be quite encompassing. They, they can be, um, uh, you know, quite involved, but I've found yeah. myself that when I've, when I've made it a bit too flashy, you know, like the lightning behind me, if I make it too flashy, then people say, well, I'm getting distracted by what's going on there. And I'm just, coming here to watch chess, you know. I don't want to yeah, see yeah. your face on there, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I just and want I, to watch this, and I think I, I, I believe that more, more than I did when I started, uh, nearly yeah. eight years ago. I think that I see it as I'm doing chess, and that's what I'm doing, and I'm not doing, um, I'm not doing um, me, you know. Hmm. Even hmm. though I like to, but when I where I come and where I come in trouble f with myself as well as maybe other people, is I see the New Zealand surfing champs are there, the sixty first New Zealand surfing champs were there, and I think oh, I really want to put that on the channel. So um, hmm. I I don't know if there I I, I think that. From what I've seen of these these famous YouTubers, you know these ones that are, have got like uh, millions of views anytime they put something on. Really, fair enough too because of the the sort of thing that they do. Um, I there's all these kind of rules, and you don't you don't diversify, you don't divert or whatever. Because then the algorithm doesn't like you. The algorithm just goes, what? You're doing surfing? Yeah. Oh, forget it. Oh, no. Anytime someone wants to look for chess, we're not going to send them your way. We're just going to see, oh, but there you don't. So the algorithm doesn't like that. So yeah. I've heard something about that they're not happy with the algorithm, the way it's working, that they uh -huh. have to, they, something like that. I think. Yes, yeah, that sounds right. And, and you know, I think if there were a formula that meant you followed this formula and you'd get a million views on YouTube, everyone would be doing it. And so it's exactly what you said. Some One person's advice is don't do this, and someone else's advice is do this. And everybody's different. But I, I think that is a very valid point. The algorithms behind YouTube and social media, I mean, they are, they're just something in the background. And, you know, how do they work? Because, you know, you go on Facebook and it immediately thinks, oh, you, you're you a man of a certain age. You need adverts about your prostate. And, you know, <laughs> or you, you've once looked at a dog video because you've got a dog. And so now they think, oh, we better give you some dog videos, you know, and it's, um, yeah, I'm, so these algorithms are dangerous because someone else is, presumably AI, artificial intelligence is trying to figure out what David Wiegenar likes and Peter Adams likes. And, and then there, if David Wiegenar suddenly does a video about surfing and they've been busy thinking he's talking about chess, um, then, you know, suddenly it, suddenly your chess videos might be appearing on a surfer's channel and nobody's <laughs> watching that. So. And they'll be going, I hate it. <laughs> but I, 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 I was actually thinking I might get the, um, I might get the surfers that like chess and the surfers that, the chess players that like surfing, you know. And so, <laughs> but then I'll be expecting surf. I'm not going to go out there videoing today any surfers you know no. and if i do <laughs> i'll say something something to the effect or the effect or whatever like this this surfer has got iron something you know <laughs> this surfer must have got season tickets to the beach and so they <laughs> have to use them every day I, I went to copeland's yesterday and uh I bought my three bottles of milk and then they said, sir, would you like, oh, please don't say sir. Um, hmm. <laughs> would you like to enter this drawer for what? I said, for free milk for the year. I said, I don't know why, but I said, usually I'd say, yeah, sure. But I said, no, I don't want to. Hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it might yeah, be local. Yeah. It might be local. It might be Dunedin Copeland's only. And I just said, no, I don't want to. I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. Because it might tie me down to Dunedin. Or, <laughs> maybe, you know, like, I just yeah, saw yeah. it as a gimmick. I, I, yeah, I know yeah. it's free milk. I was thinking, 
I was thinking, how much milk do you think I drink a week? <laughs> you know, uh, poor old Copeland's yeah, realised yeah. that I just love milk. I love a milk. I pour milk in my bath, you know. And so <laughs> <laughs> they say you can have free milk for the year. I don't know if they know what they were implying when they said that. Yeah, yeah. I only have another five minutes just to let you know. I only have another five minutes at four fifteen. I've got to be some. Uh, well, that's I, I great because we've got four minutes from yeah. now. So I'm oh, going look at that. to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So just just so well, you know. So, yeah, um, right. but otherwise you're you're back in Dunedin for a little while. Yeah, I came yeah. here to water the plants. Ah, good man. Yeah. I came here to Dunedin to water plants, but when I got here... And I mow the lawn, it, too. You better mow the lawn, David. Rainy. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't do the lawns. The lawns get done. Yeah. So mum had yeah. COVID. Oh, okay. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, mum had COVID, and um, there was something about the piano the piano key, okay? Ah, yeah. You know, I was yeah. not sure whether mum was talking about the, the keys of the piano, which you know I can play the piano brilliantly. Oh, yeah, you're and, just and a maestro. Yeah. And, <laughs> and a piano teacher said the same. So I've been wanting to go, oh, I should change it from a chess channel to a piano channel. <laughs> what violin? You know, go back to my seventh grade violin or whatever I did. But, um, but I found out, um, I just took the plunge and I sort of looked for the key for the piano. Because mum's mm -hmm. been hearing that you've got to have everything proper and correct uh, for when you want to depart the earth, even though she's now 97 and I think it's eight months soon, old. Oh, so brilliant. Brilliant. Doing really well. how, are your, how are your parents going? How my parents, parents? Um, my, they're 89 and 90 and my dad's, He's getting Alzheimer's, so he's getting forgetful and vague. But physically, they're both okay. But I don't think they'll make a hundred myself. But your mum, she may well make a hundred. So, you know, uh, brilliant. Hats off. To yeah, she, so, yeah, yeah, she won, yeah. the, I think I've said this uh, before, but she won the indoor bowls against the champion, you know. Ah, oh, good on her. She won a a a, a game at least, mm. and then the rest were too full of porridge. She was, so <laughs> she's, too, she's too sparkly behind me, like the the lightning behind yeah, me. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Looks like I've just well, been. We must, we must. Um, if you, while you're in Dunedin, we must try next week to actually have a a coffee together. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, when it's not pouring with rain. When it's safe yeah. to go out, yeah, yeah. But David, well, I, I better like, leave yeah. you. But it's it lovely to chat, and yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I look forward to watching some high production videos with CapCut. <laughs>